I'd like to begin by thanking our hosts, President Kuczynski and the people of Peru, for such a warm welcome. This summit was a chance for APEC members to tackle the challenges facing the global opportunity and to seize the, op the global community and to seize the opportunities that lie ahead. A central theme of our discussions this weekend was the need to encourage freer trade in the Asia Pacific region. We know that increased economic cooperation has the potential to expand new opportunities for business owners, help create well paying middle class jobs, and to increase prosperity. As leaders, we must work together to break down trade barriers and introduce business friendly regulations that will fuel growth. This is especially important to the success of small and medium-sized enterprises, which could benefit from increased access to international markets in a number of key sectors, like technology and infrastructure. But we know that creating an economic environment where businesses can thrive just isn't enough. Economic growth can and must deliver positive results for everyone. Today, I'm pleased to announce that the Government of Canada has made progress on three key areas to do just that. First, we agree on the need to work together to ensure that free trade agreements are fair for all parties. Hier, la ministre Freeland a annoncé l'intention du Canada de favoriser le commerce et l'investissement à l'étranger tout en luttant contre la pauvreté grâce au mécanisme de déploiement de spécialistes pour le commerce et le développement. Des experts canadiens et de partout dans le monde travailleront avec les pays en développement en vue de garantir que les accords commerciaux soient justes et équitables. Ces experts seront en mesure d'offrir de l'aide aux représentants gouvernementaux tout au long du processus des négociations à la ratification. Second, we discussed the importance of helping workers seize business opportunities around the world. Canada and Peru were pleased to announce earlier this weekend that we have concluded a convention on social security between Canada and the Republic of Peru. This agreement will make it easier to do business abroad by allowing workers to spend part of their careers in both countries and still benefit from their pensions. Third, we're redoubling efforts to ensure that all citizens can be equal participants in building economies that benefit everyone, and that includes women, youth, and marginalized groups. Au nom du gouvernement du Canada, le ministre Dion a annoncé deux nouvelles initiatives à cet effet. En partenariat avec l'UNICEF, le Canada investira presque 20 millions de dollars sur une période de sept ans pour rendre l'éducation plus accessible aux adolescents vulnérables du Pérou. Cette initiative permettra aux jeunes d'acquérir les compétences dont ils ont besoin pour obtenir les emplois de demain. De plus, nous ferons des investissements en vue d'aider à moderniser la fonction publique du Pérou pour garantir à tous les citoyens, y compris les membres des communautés autochtones, un meilleur accès aux services gouvernementaux. And finally, this summit was a chance for me to engage directly with many of our partners, including Australia, Mexico, Peru, Chile, Japan, the US, and Vietnam. We talked about the need for greater cooperation on a wide range of issues, especially on the economic front. We know that trade can have a positive impact on middle class families and those working hard to join it, but at the same time, we realize that it is our job to make sure that the benefits of growth are felt by all. That it is our job to ensure that all citizens have a real and fair chance at success. C'est notre devoir de nous assurer que tous les citoyens aient une chance réelle et équitable de réussir et qui bénéficieront concrètement des échanges commerciaux et de la croissance économique. I look forward to working closely with my fellow leaders in the years ahead to build a better, more prosperous future for all.